It's your boy T-Bird here with some news and reactions. So, so looks like Duddy look like NXT is starting off 2020 already with within the first week of 2020 with some Black Wednesday Black Wednesday news. So, a good amount of uh, staffs from the uh, this is this sounds not even mostly talent. It's mostly it's just mainly staffs. Um, as a lot of um, many members of the performance center staff has been cut. Most notably, one of the cuts from the NXT staff is now former general manager William, William Regal. Wow. I mean, I know he has been on TV for a while, but did not think it would come down to this. But yes, according to Brian Alvarez, it's confirmed that that um he was like the most recent to be confirmed. But according to them, William Regal is one of the many that's been cut from the WWE NXT Performance Center staff. Another staff member is Road Dog, who was uh, working behind the scene along with the rest of the rest of the little bit of DX members of Shawn Michaels and Triple H time. Is gone as well too, and a couple and two members who was, was part of the the roster now I guess was working as staff and coaches, and that was Timmy Thatch and Danny Burch. They're also gone too. I had a feeling Danny Burch is going um not to be not too far behind after his uh his uh partner um Oni Lurkin was released, and many others well too, including Hideki who's Suzuki, Captain Carino. Scott Armstrong, George Carroll, Ryan, Ryan Katz, A. Stills, and Dave Kapoor, who best know as uh, Rajin, Rajin Singh, who used to be the manager of the Great Khali. So yeah, we may be witnessing the, we are me and Larry just witnessed the end of the era, era this past Tuesday as, you know, Braun Breaker defeated Chopper, Chimacho Chopper for the NXT Championship, which I'm glad he did, but both Champa and Roger Strong, despite Roger Strong current current uh, alignment, uh, had lost their titles to the New Bloods, and uh, you know Roger Strong also lost his title to Carmella Hayes in a unification match. I'm still trying to figure out how they're going to unify the two, the Cruiserweight cha Championship and the North American Championship. So you might as well definitely call two of our live the Velocity main event of NXT now. As is as as as, as main fit is to uh, SmackDown and Raw for the main roster per, per se. Um. So yeah, not sure we're going, what's going to be in store for the rest of the NXT blue, the members of the Black and Golds that's still there, such as Chopper himself, Roger Strong, as well as many others, including Cameron Grimes, LA Knight, Dexter Loomis, Pete Dunne, um. And a few ladies like Dakota and Raquel. And if I ever miss it, let me know. But yeah. We don't know what's going to be in store for them. But a good, but we have AJ Styles coming through in NXT. So that's awesome. Alright. Now, also some possible rumors though. Well, there was possible rumors that... um, Well, we got to, finally got the dream match we all been waiting for. Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley. Now, there's possible rumors that originally that he was going to have him only be at a... A Saudi Arabia show was going to kind of suck, but thank God things has changed recently. And this past Monday, Bobby Lashley won a Fatal Four Way match to face Lesnar at Royal Rumble. So we get that. You know, folks would rather have at WrestleMania. Beggars can't be choosers, unfortunately. We at least got the dream match we have, even have to be on Royal Rumble. Now, at first, when it's happened, I almost was sure that they're going keep going through with the Bobby Lashley possible face turn, but from the looks of everything going on that is pleasing his win and everything, during even within the match, him having a slight a slight uh team up with Big E against uh the other competitors, Kevin Owens and um um and um Seth Rollins and and, and then his reception when he won how, he, how his reaction he was small smile you all smiles and the crowd was fully behind him they look like they may be going to keep going forward with this uh La bobby lashley face turn so not with that being said it's possible i'm not sure if legend is going to go hill or he's supposed to be a tweener or stay face we have a face versus face because we just want a dream match because you know he showed a little bit of a hill slide just a little bit but it was more like a tweener tweener as well too when 
Paul Heyman reunited with him. And some of his jab was kind of phased. I thought it was going to be a double turn between Lesnar and Roman down the line, but we're not, probably not. But anyway, either way, Lashley's face turn may looks, look, looks promising to happen. But with that being said, with that, there's rumors that there's a sacrifice for a big sacrifice that will come if they do put, pull the trigger on Bobby Lashley's face turn. There's been rumors and talks that the new members of the New Day wants to do a hill run. Which, um, to me, kind of sucks. Because, one, uh, you know, y'all know me, y'all roll with the good guys. The good guys, the anti-heroes only, which is the face and the tweeners. I don't roll with the bad guys, the villains, which are, which are hills. And that, and you know, you know, I, I and, and New Day's my boys. I fucks with them, but I got, if it was Unfortunately, I ain't gonna have to hold off on rooting for him for a while. Which, well, that's one. And two, I guess, the, and two, that's for the, and that's gonna kill, that's gonna take, take away for the fans who adore him, which is the younger fans as well, too, and anything. And I, you know, they did it before I was, they, they, their last time they would try to heal was kind of forced because. At times, folks was a fill on them and felt like felt kind of forced and cringy at times. So, mm, so I don't know about this as well either. But we can see. But but unfortunately, regardless of what happens, I gotta be unfortunately not not all in with the new day for a while. But yeah. But anyway, we but anyway, getting a little back to the Black Black Wednesday happening with William Regan Regan Beavis and Road Dog. Could we possibly get a New Age Outlaw reunion or Rudy Kid Mafia, where you want to call it how they were in TNA with um with him and Bully Gun in AEW? Could we? And some 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 uh ninety days gonna be up pretty soon. Well, one already but still we anticipate is Ray Wyatt, and there's been talks that both Keith Lee and Ember Moon has made notice that their ninety day will be up. And next month, and they could be making their moves and they in somewhere new as soon as possible, and everything. And um, I think I mean, if I ever remember, I think T- Impact is going to start premiering this Thursday or this past Saturday when they pay per view Hard to Kill. I'm trying to remember how that goes with that. But um, other than that, that is some news, thoughts, and reaction for for Wrestling Wednesday. If you like my. It's your boy T-Bear signing off. One love.